What's up, everybody? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you are wondering how I got this Tiger King inspired look, then keep on watching. We're gonna jump right into it and to prime our eyes, we're gonna be using our P. Louise Eye Base. And we're just gonna buff it in with our Morphe sponge to make sure everything is a flat canvas. We're gonna take this James Charles palette and we're going to be blending this shade into the crease using this small detailed brush. <laughs> Oh, pencil brush. I was like, what is this called? Why well, I forget? Now we're gonna take this yellow shade and we're gonna blend it in there too. just gonna be bringing it out into like a cat eye effect and we're gonna bring both those shades out so that when we cut the crease it's gonna be real cruel and winged winged out Now we're gonna be taking this white ColourPop concealer and we're gonna cut the crease. But before we do that, we're gonna remove all of that P. Louise eye base so that it's not just a whole bunch of layered product on top of each other. So now we're just gonna be packing it on and cutting that baby short. Now we're just gonna repeat the exact same steps for the other side. Thank you. 
gonna take this black eyeliner and we're gonna start to make the lion strokes. Or the lion and the tiger, the tiger strokes. So we're just basically just gonna be doing a bunch of little squiggly lines. Now we're gonna start doing the cheetah spots. And we're basically, I'm just making like a bunch of C's. And yeah, I'm basically making C's, but like thick. Now we're gonna be taking this NYX lighter and we're gonna just put little dots inside of the cheetah print. Now we're going to do the exact same thing on the other eye. Now we're going to take this white eyeshadow shade out of the James Charles palette and we're going to pack it on to the white crease and make sure everything is nice and seamless. <laughs> Now we're going to be doing a cow print. And I know the cow print isn't necessarily um, from the Tiger King, but I did get this look inspired by someone on Instagram who I will put their Instagram below in the description box. And I thought the cow print was really cute. So we're going to be putting cow print, which is basically a little like splatters shape splatters all over the eye. <laughs> And down on the outer corner, we're going to go in again with those tiger stripes and we're just going to put those towards the end of the eye. Now we're going to take this Clinique moisturizer and we're going to put that all over our face and we're going to blend it in with this Morphe fluffy brush. Now we're going to take the Benefit Professional Primer and we're going to put that all over our pore problem areas, which is the nose. And I apply my lashes for mascara. I'm using this MAC mascara.
for foundation. I'm taking my Anastasia Beverly Hills foundation and we're just gonna blend it in with this Morphe sponge. Now we're gonna take this Juvia's Place concealer and we're just gonna conceal our face. And we're also gonna take this Hourglass foundation stick and we're going to cream contour the cheekbones. <laughs> Now we're setting my face using this Ben Nye Banana Powder. Now we're gonna take this orange shade and we're gonna smoke out the lower lash line. Same thing with the yellow, we're also going to smoke out our lower lash line. Now we're going to dust off all that bake. And now we're going to contour with this Anastasia Beverly Hills contour powder. <laughs> Now we're going to bronze up the nose. And now we're going to snatch the nose a little bit more and add some powder on the sides. And for blush, I did use a MAC blush called Foolish Me. I don't know where the clip went to show it, but that is the blush that I used to set this face. We're going to be using this Morphe setting spray, baby. And that fan I got from the dollar store. Also, I sprayed my face with powder on my nose still, y'all. I forgot all about it. I forgot all about it, but it worked out and it came off. So so now for highlight, we're going to be using this Fenty Beauty highlight and Trophy Wife. Because I just felt like it was going to go with the little theme or whatever. Now I'm going to take my B perfect carnival palette and we're going to use that highlighter up there and for lips i'm going to be using kkw in shade 3 lip liner and i'm also going to be using my cream de nude lipstick from mac I'm also gonna take my Fenty Beauty Gloss Balm because I can't go without a glossy lip. Like, it's just not me. And that's the finished look. Y'all better like, comment, share, subscribe because your girl is looking real cute, okay? Carol Baskin. <laughs>